Max Sterling, welcome to LARPgasm. Today we're going to review a couple of items that I got off eBay, because I know a lot of times people that LARP, you know, we shop online, we check out, you know, the old standby websites, but then we also, of course, check, you know, Etsy and eBay. Well, I bought a couple of things off eBay recently and thought, you know, hey, since uh, there's not really any way to tell sort of the quality or what these things look like through the pictures, let me go ahead and do a little review and kind of show you what these things look like. So. I'm gonna go ahead and start with a uh, sword hanger that I got, and uh, I think it's actually pretty good quality. And I got this from a place called, I believe, it was Sword and Armory off of eBay. And uh, it's nice because this is a left-handed draw because I fight with two swords. It's very easy to find a right-hand draw, but it's difficult to find a lefty. And uh, most of the places I was looking at wanted anywhere between probably $20 to $50 for something like this. And at the end of the day, it's just some very simple leather. And because the size of the swords that I'm going to be using is huge, I needed one that was very large to be able to fit a very big <laughs> sword inside of there. So this was, I want to say, a little bit more than $6 and that was shipping included. So this is a nice thick leather. Uh, it's black, I believe they also had brown. The hardware looks to be solid and uh, my sword fits, gives it a nice carry and uh, you know it's a plain black leather and you can see sort of how thick it is and I think it'll work great. Now I'm using this with a Kalamazoo sword and uh, because this leather is very stiff and kind of thick and rough inside if you're using something like an epic armory blade, I mean, this is probably going to chew it up pretty quick. So you definitely want some sort of liner. But if you're using something that's like a Kalamazoo or anything that's like a foam injection mold, or if you're using, uh, you know, like a stick, or if you're using an actual blade or some sort of training blade that's wood or something like that, then this would be great for you. And for six bucks, you can't really beat it. Um, you know, you probably would be hard pressed to make one for that unless you already had the hardware and uh, the scrap leather laying around. So I think this is a good deal. Definitely gonna give this a thumbs up. So if you're looking for something to carry your sword in, check out eBay, check out a place called Sword and Armory and uh, see if you can find this. Or if you wanna run across one that looks like this on eBay, that's six bucks well spent. <clears throat> uh, the next thing I was looking at was these little sort of pencil cases that they sell. Now they sell that and then there's also, you know, a slightly larger one. So if you're looking at the two of these online, just know that this is what you're dealing with. One is definitely smaller than the other. So I wanted this to carry my lock picks in because I play Rogue. And uh, although it has a little coin on it, uh, you know, that's probably looks like maybe Chinese and although it has like a sort of like stamp or like a coat of arms on it uh, really that doesn't bother me too much <laughs> um, but you can definitely store your lock picks in here now if you're using you know like a standard size lock pick obviously this case is massive you open it up you got to put one in here you're gonna lose them down inside I mean you can definitely do that but I would suggest that if you already have like a set like this what you could do is just take that whole leather case and just stick the whole thing inside here and then fold it back over on itself and then you have like a cool little lock pick holder and uh, of course obviously this is meant to be a pencil case so if you're carrying around, you know, pencils, paper, or something, uh, because that's the type of character that you play, then obviously something like this would work out great for you. But I think there's, you know, just a little bit more immersion if I pull out something that looks like this as opposed to just this. I mean, this isn't bad, you know. If you cover up that snap, you slide this, a little bit better looking. Uh, the larger one, it's basically the same thing, except it's brown. This one, on the outside of it, looks like it has a treasure map on it, if you can see. It's very hard to see, and it had a little skull pendant. And basically on the inside, it's the same thing. It's 
just a small holder. The leather is actually much larger, but you know, you'd be better off to just stick your whole case of picks in there and then roll it up if you were going to use something like that. But I think just having something like this that you can roll out on the table would just be phenomenal compared to this. Now, if you think these are too big or you don't think these would work for you, I would still suggest probably buying some scrap leather and just making a little, you know, fold out or a little roll out mat to keep all of your lock picks in. If you play a game where the lock picks aren't real and they're just like a physical representation of the picks because you're not actually picking the locks, then something like this would probably be pretty cool because you can make your picks a little bit bigger, stick them in here, and then it looks like, you know, you have them in a nice little storage container. Now, the last thing I bought is LARP related to me, and I know even though a lot of you may not have YouTube channels and stuff, you still take photos. And uh, what I have is, I have a GoPro, it's a Hero 3, so it's a little bit older, but I saw online, and I forget the seller, uh, it says Cost Down 2012, I don't know if that was the seller or not, but they sell, it's like a 50 piece kit for GoPro. And it's supposed to fit all of them. One, two, three, four, five. There is a floating holder for it. There is a just huge variety of uh, sticky tab things that go with it. Comes with a wrist mount. There's just, there's so much stuff in here. It's, it's baffling how many little pieces are in here for connecting and mounting this stuff. There is a suction cup mount for like in your car. The ones I was most interested in getting though was the chest mount and the head mount. So this of course would be the chest mount. So I'm curious to see if this even fits me because I am pretty big dude so we're just gonna adjust this all the way out to the maximum settings and I can tell you that this is an elastic so uh, there's probably a pretty good chance that this will fit yeah let me see if this will work Yeah. So yeah, I mean, it's a little tight, but it does fit. Uh, 52 inch chest. So I would say if you're like 54 inch chest, this is going to be about as tight as you want it. Or if you're 54 inches around, you know, with armor and stuff on, I'm going to say that that's probably going to be the maximum because at 52, I'm almost hulking this thing out. Um, so if you do buy one of these kits, keep that in mind. Here's the head mount. And, uh, you know, I have a pretty normal sized head for a human. And, uh, yeah, I know, that seems good. And there's uh, quite a bit of adjustability in this. So if you had a huge fucking noggin, this would probably still fit. And I'm willing to bet that this would probably fit over a like a normal sized helm or uh, helmet. I don't know if you have something like a motorcycle, like a full motorcycle helmet or like a big full helm, I don't know that it would fit over that. But there's plenty of other uh, attachments here. And also, it's not like you couldn't restrap this if you really wanted to. So that's a positive thing. There is a another floating Thing, I believe for the remote there is a clip so you can just clip the GoPro on the thing and then they actually gave me a little case with it as well 
Uh, the case has a, it's actually a hard case. I thought it was soft. It's actually hard. That's good. And you know, it has a place for, you know, the camera and, you know, maybe a few accessories. So, you know, it's not a perfect fit, but you know, it'll work. It's good enough. So, uh, this whole kit, I think was like $16, maybe 17. Yeah, I think it was like 1685 or something. So this is a lot of stuff. You know, if you go out and you're buying stuff for your GoPro, like just this headband is probably 25 bucks. So this seems like it's a killer deal. Uh, I don't see any reason for any of this stuff to not work. Now, if I was going to stick my, you know, a couple hundred dollar camera onto like my motorcycle fender or like the outside of my car or something like that, I'd probably spring for the expensive brand name stuff uh, because, you know, this stuff looks like it's okay, but I wouldn't risk the cost of this, you know, on something that costs a dollar. That's just silly. But if you're just using this for some LARP filming, this headband, this chest band and stuff, I mean, it, the plastic uh, seems okay, but if you got hit in this, I think it would probably break. So if you're doing like SCA or something that uses uh, more sturdy type weapons, this would probably break if you took a hit to it. Although, you know, if you took a hit to your camera, that might break too. So I would say if you're using this for just like a regular uh, boffer style LARP with latex weapons and stuff, I think that this would be a really good kit. So if you're looking to get some GoPro footage, I would uh, definitely look into this online. I think it was just like, uh, I think the title was like, you know, 50 piece uh, GoPro accessory kit or something like that. And uh, there's just so much stuff in here. You know, it just seems like a, uh, like an awesome deal <clears throat> to be able to mount all this stuff. And it looks like it really saved you some money. The uh, GoPro definitely fits on here. So, you know, I think it's a good deal. Well, hopefully this video was helpful to you. So if you were eyeing up any of these, uh, you know, pencil case holders, you know, or any of these sword hangers and stuff, hopefully this gives you an idea as to what they look like, what size they are, and uh, so forth. And uh, yeah, if you like the video, please click like. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. You can click the little bell if you'd like notified whenever I have new videos coming out. You like the shirt, check out the link, make your own, and uh, as always, adventure on. That's my goodbye orc song.